In this video, we are going to set an FTP server and create a host on Windows without using any third-party software. We are going to use Windows built-in service. After successful installation, FTP server is live on your PC and by using an FTP client on another computer or mobile to access your files. Right-click on the Internet Access icon and select Open Network and Internet Setting. You will see the Network Status window. On the left-hand side, click on Ethernet. Then click on the Change Adapter options. Click Status, then Details. This IP address is temporarily assigned by DHCP. Now we need to make it Permanent Fixed IP Address. Right-click on your Active Network Adapter. Select Properties. A new window will be open from the list. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and enter your IP addresses here. Click OK to save the settings. For installation of the FTP software to turn on FTP services from Windows Features. Here, by clicking Search Windows Features from Search Results select Windows Features on and off. Click to add Internet Information Services and add FTP Server. After that, add FTP Server, FTP Extensibility, and FTP Service by check these boxes. We are also going to add Web Management Tools Service option. Click OK to install the necessary software. After installation of the required component, we need to configure the FTP Server. Before configuration, we need to create a folder and copy all required data which you want to share through FTP. For configuration of an FTP site, search IIS Manager and from search result click to open Internet Information Service. Now click on your computer's name, right. Click on the sites and select the Add FTP Site option. Enter the short FTP name for the server. After that, give a physical path of your directory or folder, which you want to share and click OK. Now a new window will be open. Enter the static IP address that you have assigned to the PC and keep remain default FTP port 21. Check the box to start FTP site automatically. Check the no SSL option if you are going to use the FTP server to transfer files on your local network. Then, it's okay to avoid using an SSL certificate here. Normally, an SSL requires to configure in a corporate environment. Now click Next. Check the basic option in the authentication section. The basic option will require FTP clients to log in to an account. If you would like to allow FTP clients to log in without a username and password, then select the anonymous option. From this drop-down, select the user's options to connect to the FTP server. If you want to allow any user with an account on this PC, then select all users. If you would like to allow specified users, then enter the usernames and allow read and write permission to the FTP directory. Click on Finish. Now FTP server will be online whenever your computer is on and connected to the network. To create an FTP user, we can just add a local user account to this PC. Now create user without a Microsoft account. Enter the username and password. Please note username and password required at the time to log in from FTP clients. Once the user is created, we give it access to the FTP directory. After that, right-click the FTP folder. Click Properties. Select Security tab. Click Edit. Then add the user and give it full control. Please note that by default, the FTP connections will be blocked by Windows Firewall. Allow manually the service through Firewall. Search Windows Firewall. Select on Allow an app or feature through Windows Defenders. Then click the Change Settings button. Then from drop-down window, select the FTP server and allow private and public access. Then click OK. Once the configuration has been done, now FTP server will be accessible from the local network. However, 
If you still have any problem accessing the server from FTP clients, then completely disable Windows Firewall. Now access the FTP server from another Windows PC, log into the PC and open File Explorer. Then right click on an empty space and select Add a Network Location. Here enters the IP address of the FTP server and click Next. And uncheck the Logon Anonymously option and enter your FTP username then click Next. Enter the name of the network location and click Next. Uncheck Open this network location and proceed to finish. Now the FTP site appears in File Explorer. By double-clicking open the FTP site location. For the first time to connect to the FTP server, you will be required to enter your password and check the box to save the password. Once you have access to the FTP server, you have full control and you can copy and paste in this folder. If you would like to access the FTP server from an Android phone, install an FTP client app from Play Store. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tips.